<laughs> Good Saturday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Uh, anyway, uh, it is a good morning here in Capitan, New Mexico. I'm at my old home base here in Capitan, thanks to the new owner allowing me to be here for a few days. But anyway, thank you very much. But anyway, still alive in my 2019 Casita travel trailer, 17-footer, 84 square feet of perfect comfort for old dad here. Long-time, full-time RVer, and today is the first day of the rest of your life. Anyway, it's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. Right now, guys, make it a good one. And what else can I tell you? Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's, 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 it, it has served its purpose quite well, actually. Uh, it's very quiet here, man. I like this. This is a good spot. But be that as it may, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? The current temperature in Capitan is 64 degrees. Well, that's probably not real accurate because the other gauge here says 60 even, but that's close with a high of, what, 84? Not too bad. But anyway, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 66 degrees. With a high of 79. It's pretty nice. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 43 degrees. With a high of 85, that's pretty nice camping weather. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Llano, Texas? In Llano, it's currently 78 degrees. With a high... There's currently an excessive heat warning in effect. With a high today of 108. Do I miss that? No. <laughs> no, no. Anyway, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 52 degrees. With a high of 72. So there's no hurry to get back to Texas, is there, Rusty? Nope, none at all. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. No, it's going to do that again. I don't know why. Hey, Google, tell us an adult joke. Grown-up joke coming huh? up. What did one adult say to the other? Wah, 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 wah. At least, that's what Charlie Brown told me. Man, I'm telling you, it's hard to get some humor out of this thing. But having said that, let me introduce my gang back here, all my buddies. This is Tweety Bird, a little head sticking up there. That is Trenton Clump, a grinning it. That's Matilda, gets all the rude comments. And this is uh, Bluebird of Happiness, Teddy Bear with my name on it. Popeye and Olive Off, the old Popeye cartoons, Betty Boot from the 1930s, Mr. Bill from the 1970s, and behind them is a sticker that says Native Texan with a jalapeno on it. That's a million dollar bill, thousand yen note, five euro note, two dollar bill, one dollar silver certificate, Gumby from the 1950s, the remote for the Max Air Vent fan, and that is a... Mr. Bojangles, and I reloaded on bananas, but I got one old one left. Breakfast. <laughs> well, I got my breakfast ready, and that goes in it. That is a pillow slip somebody made me right there. I got two of them some people have made me. And that is olive oil's bras, or those are olive oil's bras. That is a smiling face with nose, ears, and hair. And that is a saying that says life is better than a casita. And it is to me. And having said that, I may do a triking video today. I don't know, where's the, where, what happened to my deal here? Do I got power it on again? My, my laptop went off. Oh, here it comes. <clears throat> anyway, maybe I had it open too long. Because, you know, it, everything's got a timer on it nowadays. You know that? You know, your phone, everything, you have, and your Google Home device. So if you walk away for a few minutes and come back, everything's off. <laughs> anyway, I got to slide in here. Yeah, it went off because I was fooling around and doing things. But anyway, we'll get going here, guys. Just be patient. Uh, let me do this. No, thanks. Go over here. I got to go to YouTube or my tube or somebody's tube. 
Yeah, that's really a good name for that YouTube. Pretty smart. We're getting there, guys. Hang with me. I'm getting there. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get the videos now. And uh, then I got to get to comments. How about that? There it goes. See how many I got in the spam folder? None. How about that? Okay, and I'll zoom them just a touch. Okay, here we go. Let's get going, Rusty. <clears throat> anyway, guys. Yeah, today I may do a triking video because I need to get water to put in the t a fresh water tank. And uh, so I'll just put some gallon jugs in my on my electric trike and go get some. Yeah, over you can go over by the rodeo barns. They got one outlet there, the water spigot. You can get water for nothing. Anyway, James Justice, now that you are staying in the casita, I will continue watching your videos again. I don't, I don't stay in anything else. I haven't stayed in anything else in two years. <clears throat> Anyway, thank you, James. I'm so happy. Diana Rickman get, left me a smiling face. Thank you. Fred Thorne. I'm too new to know this spot. That's my home base here. I'll say this. You got the titanium cranium, but some days I think I have overgrown bone. I hear you. Thank you, Fred. And this is Gavin H. On comment call. Oh, yeah. Rusty, remember them all. Marmalade, canned heat. LOL, that song by Canned Heat, Going Up Country, has roots back to the 20s. Yeah, a lot of, man, there's, there was hundreds of those old bands, you know, that I forgot the names of, you know? Yeah, I just did a, a thing for Woodstock Music, 1960s. Boy, I, I, yeah, it brought back a jillion old memories. Uh, Dertrixa, of course I remember. I miss your home base near Kingsland very much. Sorry, sir, I'm sentimental. No problem. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe I am. I don't know what I am. I'm me. <clears throat> this is on the road again, driver Dan. Yeah, it's, it is obvious that selling Capitan was the right move for you. Fun to see it again, though. Yeah, it is. It's nice here. It is. But it did remind me uh, somewhat that having a home base is not bad. So, you know, we'll, we'll see about this cabin. And they haven't called me about the water on the cabin yet, so we'll see. Lorraine Spence, cool. Thank you. Driver Dan, thumbs up. James Jackson, feels good to be back home. Yeah, it is. It's nice here, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's cool. That's what I like. The temperature is, God, you know, compared to Lano, get out of here. You know, but even if I built a cabin, I don't know that I'd want to be in Texas in the summers. And that's what bothers me about, you know, I hate to leave a house, uh, you know, for two or three months. <coughs> and, you know, I don't have any neighbors there that I really know or plan on knowing for that matter. Uh, Back Road Freedom. Hello, Rusty. Thank you for taking me along. I really love history. Oh, this is on Billy the Kid, Lincoln, New Mexico. I really love history and love hearing stories about Billy the Kid. I'm going through old towns and just looking at the old buildings. Have a wonderful day, my friend. Well, good for you. Something to do. Something to do and something to look forward to. Drew. Scamps are cheaply made with lots of penetrations in the hull and many other issues of quality. I have wished, I have one, wished I saved my money. I got close to buying one. In fact, I had one on order, but then I decided to get a casita because I didn't want to go to Minnesota. I, I had wanted a casita, but the reason I didn't buy one uh, years ago was because I was six foot two and my head touched the ceiling. But as I got older, I shrunk a little bit. And the sick the ceiling is six foot one and a half, so it works good now. Anyway, thank you, Drew. Wendy McGee. Those little sixty dollar canopies Walmart sells would fit over a casita and they're really easy to put up. It would be it would keep it way cooler. Yeah, but then you gotta put it up and take it down. I don't want to fool with it. And I don't have a lot of space to put stuff either, Wendy. But anyway, thank you. Bob Diamond. Rusty, how many miles does your Dodge have on it? About 60,000, I think. Janice Peck, cool sight and weeds. I spray white vinegar on weeds with a little detergent. Make sure weed is dry. No do. It really works. Okay. Well, I may check that out. 
This is uh, on the road track. Boy, I was thinking about getting one of those. <clears throat> That's an old video. Uh, Darren White, uh, I'm surprised you don't just hang out at the sandbar LBJ and boat town all day. Crappie fish the bridge. Uh, I'm surprised I don't either, Darren. Just amazes me. Claude Bradley, way to go, Rusty. Thank you. Robert Clark. You know, it sounds like it's sprinkling. It is sprinkling. It's sprinkling rain. Right when, I, well, I won't be go walking for a while. It'll be gone. Anyway, uh, Robert Clark says, Rusty, that is so cool. Yeah, it is cool. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this trip. This has been a, a, a variety trip. I've seen a lot of different places. <laughs> I, I've learned how to hook up and unhook my casita quick. Darren White on the road trek again. Race horse, beer 30, red beer tomato juice and a two dollar bet and soak that scenery in and maybe stay for a while willy con for the willy concert you can do it focus okay darren thank you back on the meds boy bart maverick driving capitan this is an older one at my age at my age at my age is pushing 60 years old i wouldn't think twice about moving to capitan as many videos as i've watched you rusty about capitan and the area it's a perfect place for me it beats the hell out of northwest Georgia. No, it's it's a really a unique little community. It is. I, I do like this area. And when I go camping in the future, I'll probably be around this area. <clears throat> this is a walk down Columbus, New Mexico, near the Pancho Villa State Park in New Mexico. Brandon Taylor says Pancho Villa tamed the area. Yeah, he really did. He killed a bunch of people. That'll tame it every time. Uh, this is on comment call. Eric Moore. Cool comment call. My wife was wondering what happened to the blue bird of happiness. I'm from Colorado. Well, it's right there. It fell off. Whenever I'm moving, sometimes these things fall off, some of the stuff. But, yeah, it's there. Dixo Tube, I want this place. Well, then you need to just shoot me an email, rusty78609 at yahoo.com, and I will uh, put you in touch with the owner. Dixo Tube. Okay, you got that? Rusty78609 at yahoo.com. <clears throat> and I'll put you in touch with the owner because you never know. Gregory Adkins, you can go home again. Yeah, was that a wolf book? Yeah, you can never go home again. It was a good book. On the road again, uh, Michael S., nice to see the old homestead, Rusty. Is Matilda out on the town again? Yeah, I didn't see her. She, uh, the, she's gone hiking this morning. Like, let the goat eat weeds. It's cheaper. Goat. Goat, goat, goat. The goat. Yeah, you know, that is true. But, you know, the goats will eat all kind of things. But they, they have a an order that they eat things. They eat, you know, the things they like first, and then they'll gradually get down to eating anything. But that's because they're starving to death, folks. You know what I mean? The goats have a reputation for eating. Uh, anything, but that reputation is, is not well deserved because uh, th they're eating anything because they're starving. Okay, you would too. You'd eat a rat. Trust me. Mary P., full circle. New Mexico is hard to leave. Yeah, it is, particularly in the summer. Mark Bahek, I bet you're tossing you tossing in the red pool noodle closed the deal. Yeah, that was it. When I decided I'd leave that, that, was, that did it. Tommy Devers, nice to see the old home base. The casita, casita looks totally natural parked there. Rusty Trikeman, now weed murderer. <laughs> is, is there no end to your talents? LOL, have fun. Well, I, never mind. Thank you, Tommy Devers, weed murderer. I like that. Well, you know, if you were going to write a headline for a story, that would work. You know, you wouldn't want to say, you know, the guy made the weed sick. You know, no, you got you got to give it a headline people will read. Marion Seeley, make her an offer. Get your home base back. No. Thank you. Dorian Christie, this is still my favorite home base RV place. Capitan, New Mexico rocks. And the, uh, and the new owner is so cool. Looking forward to beer 30 this evening. Carpe Nocturne 2, amigo. Yeah, we may do. I was thinking about doing one yesterday. I didn't. Uh, I just did another short video instead. The one I'm talking about here. But I may do, I'll do one while I'm here. I don't know when. Uh, Jeffrey Crop, where's Matilda? She's right there. <laughs> That's a picture of her. Anyway, Gloria Holman uh, on the road again. 
I still like the comfort of this old home base, but I can totally appreciate how much your freedom means to you. Enjoy life every day for as long as you can. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's, but you know, it's, when I was sitting there yesterday afternoon, it occurred to me that, yeah, I, I could, in Texas, I, I could uh, do a cabin. I, I could do that. Uh, you know, will I, 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 I'm still, you know, but, you know, it, it's just so many things to think through, you know, it's not necessarily the cost so much as it is the, the headaches. You know, once you start that, you know, you got to go through the whole construction process and it lasts about three or four months. And it's, uh, it's, uh, some of it's not a lot of fun. We'll see. We'll, get, we'll do it. Maybe. I'm a sailor. This is one of the most, this was the most interesting spot you've been. I'm looking forward to seeing more interesting visitors and maybe that mysterious lady right before you sold it. Okay. Uh, Darren White, uh, man, your old tree, your old trees there are huge in Capitan. Yeah. <clears throat> but I had them trimmed. Same person, by the time the weeds die, you'll be up on your bets coming in for tourity. I know what's up, Buttercup. Okay. Uh, he also says, I wonder what that smoky fascination was all about. You were reminiscing. I like that. Well, I reminisce all the time. Anyway, Liz Childers or Childers? Childers, I think. I figured out you might be able to use that area by contacting the new owner. Great move, Rusty. Yeah, the, well, actually, uh, the, she made that offer a long time ago. I just took her up on it. Anyway, because she, if you know, if, if I, if if I knew somebody personally, and uh, they wanted to use my home base when I was gone, then uh, I would say sure. Yeah, you know, if I knew what kind of person they were, but I, I'm not going to just let a stranger go up on my property uh, unknown. You know what I mean? Nana Betty G looks like a nice, quiet visit to your old property. I want to say I've heard rock salt kills weeds, but you might Google it cheaper than weed killer. Okay. Uh, Julia, Julie Castagnaro, weed killer is really poisonous. Yeah, well, see, you're not supposed to spray it on yourself. You're supposed to spray it on the weeds. <laughs> Thank you. I know what you mean. John C., it sure doesn't take long to go to seed, does it? No, well, it doesn't. That's why, but that, I, I knew that the weeds would grow up through that rock. I just didn't know you know, how many or whatever. But anyway, John B., LOL, the green green grass at home Roundup is the best, best brand to kill weeds with. It really works. Yeah, but it's also very, yeah, you got to wear gloves and stuff. I've used it many times. I have, and, but you have to be careful with that stuff. Zaytuni J. Cotterell, I am a new follower, so I did not see your home base before, but your voice sounded so happy, glad that you are. Well, yeah, it's, it's a great place here, man. I, I like Capitan, the whole area. You know, and the reason is in the summers, the temperature is so right. You know, like yesterday afternoon, I only had to run the air conditioner for about two or three hours, and that's it. You know, and then at night, you know, it gets down into the 60s pretty quick. Yeah. A little kettle, good for you, plus your AC there. Enjoy. Yeah, that's the big uh, plus. And, you know, looking at the uh, temperatures, you know, like for next week, see, I was thinking about, you know, going boondocking next week, and I'll tell you. Uh, the temperatures, let me go 10 days here. Uh, let's see, Sunday high 82, Monday 82, and then Wednesday, Thursday, it gets up to 87, 86, and then uh, Friday, Saturday, back to the low 80s. But, you know, in the low 80s, it's tolerable, okay? Hey, that's okay. It's it's okay. So we may try a few. We, we'll be leaving here next week for sure. I, I'm just waiting on my solar, and I'm hoping that Walmart gets the solar panels right. Because they, they got a picture of one thing and a description of another and price. But I called them and verified that the Walmart product number was what I was right. Anyway, having said it, we'll do three more and then shut her down. Brian Melton, Rusty, you're, you're beyond smooth. That's the sweetest deal I've ever heard of. I tip my hat to you. Thanks for the video. You're very welcome. Uh, Porch Fly wouldn't let you spray that crap near my land or myself, but you do you. Well, you know, that's good, Porch Fly. You do you. That's right. Uh, Robert Williams, the weather you experienced on this morning can be captured, contained, and released gradually through the remainder of the day if you purchase my invention. I know, back on my meds, have a nice day. Yeah, and, and you might want to up the dosage a little bit, Robert. You're going to capture the the temperature and release it. I hear you. No, I, it's okay. It's not a problem. You, you, you're okay. You're fine. Just lay down and take these little pills. Anyway, having said that, guys... For, 
from uh, Capitan, New Mexico on a nice Saturday morning, I hope. Uh, let me see here. Well, it's, you know, the temperature here in Capitan right now is 10 after 6, so the sun's not quite up. So with that in mind, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if uh, you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. And then what else? Oh, you can go, you, and you can use the uh, PayPal uh, account, too, if you want to. It's better than Patreon. And what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for it. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And that's the only real way to lose weight is eat less. You can jog and you can do all kinds of things. But that ain't going to do poo-poo. The only way to really uh, lose weight is uh, eat less. Anyway, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Take a really deep breath. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. Get you off those blood pressure meds. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Uh, you know, exercise your body once or twice a day, every day. Why? Because it's good for you. You'll feel better immediately. And uh, you may live healthier longer. How about that? And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your titanium cranium. <laughs> Don't let negative Ned or negative Nancy get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes. Those little neurons up in there are forming neural links, which are you, your thoughts, your consciousness. So don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. You know what I mean? It's all crap. It, it's gone so far, it's not even news anymore. It's just weird stuff. But anyway, with that in mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time, every day or day after day after day. Adios, bye-bye, bye con Dios, uh, what else, aloha, and all that stuff. Till next time, I'll post a video, maybe a triking video. We'll see. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy your Saturday or in your weekend. Bye-bye.